Hello children, today we are going to start with a new topic of science, water in our lives. Water is an important source of life, without which it is impossible for us to live. Now come to the aims of the lesson, to learn about the importance of water, to make students familiar with the sources of water, to learn about uses of water, to know about water pollution and water conservation. Water is the precious gift of nature. All living things need water to live. It is required not only for survival of life but also for a healthy and happy life. Life is impossible without water as we cannot survive without water. Students, now let's learn what is groundwater. The water below the earth's surface is called groundwater. We can obtain groundwater by constructing wells, hand pumps and tube wells. Earth is called blue planet as three-fourth surface of our earth is covered with water. Now let's learn about different sources of water. There are two types of sources. First one is natural sources of water and the second one is man-made sources of water. Rain and water bodies are the main sources of water such as waterfall, rivers, ponds, lakes, streams, seas and oceans. These water bodies are called as natural sources of water. Oceans, rivers, ponds, lakes and streams are the natural sources of water which are gifts of nature provided to us by God. Now let's learn about the different forms of water. Water has three forms, solid, liquid and gas. Solid form. The solid form of water is ice, like ice cubes. Snow on snow-capped mountains is an example of solid form of water. Liquid form. The liquid form of water is water in rivers, in oceans, in ponds, etc. Gaseous form. The gas form of water is water vapor. Now let's learn about the different uses of water. Water is very essential for us as it is used for many purposes like drinking, cooking, cleaning, bathing, washing and many other purposes. Let's learn about the water cycle. Water cycle is a continuous process in which water changes from one form to another. This cycle includes the processes like evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Evaporation, the conversion of water from a liquid form into a gaseous form is called evaporation. The sun evaporates water from the ocean, lakes, seas and rivers. The evaporated water changes from a liquid form into water vapor, a gaseous form. Condensation. The transformation of water vapor back into liquid water by cooling is called condensation. Evaporated Water is warmed and rises into the air where it eventually cools and condenses to form clouds. Precipitation When clouds become very heavy with condensed water, the water is released in the form of rain, hail or snow. 
collection the collection of water into rivers lakes and oceans this completes the water cycle this cycle keeps on going in the nature and maintains the balance of water on the earth children as you can see the water evaporates and then condenses and comes down in the form of precipitation and is again collected back in rivers and oceans and this process goes on continuously in nature which changes form of water from one to another children as you all know water is a precious gift of nature all living things need water to live the water which we drink comes from the river but what is happening nowadays rivers are turning dirty because of what we humans do so let's have a look at what we all do to make water dirty which is a precious gift of nature human activities which makes the river dirty are like washing clothes throwing garbage in the rivers bathing in river throwing harmful substances into the river all the human activities makes water unfit for drinking litter makes the water bitter now let's learn what is water pollution Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies usually as a result of human activities. Water bodies include for example lakes, river, oceans etc. Due to water pollution only small part of water is fit for drinking. In many parts of our country people wait for hours to get a bucket of water The main reason of water shortage is that we waste water so we must conserve water as the world is in our hands Few reasons which leads to water shortage leaking taps lead to water wastage bathing which are also leads to wastage of water so we must use a bucket and mop to bathe and we should get the leaking taps repaired at the earliest we should not keep taps open while we are brushing or washing the utensils to save water children Can you imagine a day without water? No, you cannot start your day without water as we need water for different purposes like cleaning, washing, drinking, bathing and brushing. So, students, water conservation is the only way for life's preservation. Water conservation is a practice in which people companies and government attempt to reduce their water usage even a drop can bring life so we must save water to conserve life let's learn some simple ways to save water saving water in the bathroom turn off tap while brushing teeth take shorter baths turn off tap while applying soap turn off tap after each use do not flush tissue paper or waste into the toilet saving water in the garden use leftover water used for washing vegetables to water the garden water the plants using a mug place tub outside to save rain water and use it to water the garden later water the garden early in the morning or late in the evening 
saving water in the kitchen. Wash fruits or vegetables in a bowl of water. Use water from melted ice cubes of ice drinks to water plants. Use the flushed out RO water to wash cars and bikes. Every drop of water matters. So save your life by saving what lets you live. Save water. Thank you and I hope the concept is clear to you.